Uh, the convoy just keeps going. I mean, there's still trucks over there. It almost feels as if the entire Indian army is going to Kashmir today. I am ready. internet it is 20 to 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel welcome here in Cargill I am having my breakfast right now I'm having some bread omelette and some chai and then I'm getting ready to leave I'm riding to Sinegar today in Kashmir which is about 200 kilometer ride um, so let's see how it goes I'm pretty excited to get to Kashmir bye bye <laughs> see you next time another beautiful morning I switched uh, the screen back to full navigation because when I'm riding in cities and stuff then uh, that's more helpful than just uh, the turns Wow that is a nice beginning of today's ride is it Wow! Look, there we go. Sinegar, 201 Ks. It's interesting to see that only at slightly lower altitudes you already get so many more trees compared to uh, around Ley or other higher up places. I am going over a high mountain pass at some point, the Zojila. It's still 75 kilometers away. Zojila. So that la means pass. So that's the Zoji pass. Kids going to school. Green is apparently the school uniform color. See, they're all wearing green. Oh no, blue as well. Blue and green. And then white. It's funny, there's all sorts of different school uniforms. I don't know if that's different grades or different schools. You always gotta be careful on these roads because before you know it, there is a massive truck coming around the corner. Some police checkpoint here. Ah, the top of the pass is only 18 kilometers from here. Get the closer. Morning. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Where am I going? To Senegal. <laughs> Sorry? Passport? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, do you have pen? <laughs> okay. No pen? Ah, thank you. Oh. Finish. Yeah. 
Where can you go? Today or my country? You alone? Netherlands, yeah, alone. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Where from? Hmm? Where from? Netherlands. Do you have any contact number? Sorry? Do you have any contact number? Um yes. I'll I'll write. Zero zero. Okay. Okay. Take your pen. Uh, it's from your colleague. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Bye. I am allowed into Kashmir onto the pass. You know the funny thing is it's not as high here as in Lay, but it feels a lot colder. I think maybe the humidity is higher here, so it just feels colder, even though <coughs> it's not as high. Uh, they're building a tunnel here. See right there? I heard that they're building a lot of tunnels. Also the famous Rotang Pass. When you come out of Manali, which was the first mountain pass I ever did on an off-road, on an adventure bike, which was the, the rental one. It now, there's a tunnel. And I don't think they even allow you over the pass anymore. Uh, I have a feeling there is a huge military convoy in front of me I mean normally you're not allowed to overtake or yeah to overtake a military convoy but these guys are gonna be so slow they are literally crawling like 10 kilometers an hour I've seen other people also just overtaking them so I think it might actually not be such a problem to overtake them couple of broken down trucks or something. Hello. See there's also normal trucks in between so I think people just overtake them. Oh this is gonna be a busy busy pass. See there's a lot of them standing still. See, this guy is also overtaking them. Overtaking in the corridor, that's okay.
Ooh, there's some dark clouds ahead. I only really noticed them now. I've just been looking at the trucks the entire time. How is this done by hand? Ah, oh, they must be working on that tunnel here. This is the Zoji La Pass. Wow, look at that. Oh, it must be raining or snowing up there. The convoy just keeps going. I mean, there's still trucks over there. It almost feels as if the entire Indian army is going to Kashmir today. Oh, this seems like such a dangerous job. Oh, they are working just on the edge of the mountain. See the convoy, it goes all the way, all the way until there I can see army trucks. Crossing. Bad weather is coming this way, I think. Yeah, it's starting to rain. It's raining now. At least it's not snow. It's the first rain I've had. Coming down. Glad all my stuff is waterproof, so doesn't really bother me. Where are we waiting? Might be something coming around the corner. Here comes the sun again. That is nice. Your your bag is touching your your wheel. So this
they just tied all the grass in the world on the one car. Here we go, this is the Dal Lake. I'm here, I'm here. I'm gonna find a houseboat. Welcome to my awesome, awesome room. Check this out. This is the room. So I have really nice carpets on the floor. Then all of my stuff <laughs> that I took from the bike. And then check out this. I have to show you this bathroom. Because look, I have a bathtub. <laughs> what a luxury, right? Everything is so beautifully decorated. See, this is all wood carvings. And here as well, this whole wall is made out of wood and decorated and even the ceiling, look. How beautifully that is decorated. Dinner is served in this really beautiful room, look. Let's see what we have. Dal, chicken and rice. Mm. I got up at five o'clock this morning to go and see the floating market, uh, which happens every day here. Uh, it wasn't so big this morning, but it was still nice to see uh, people selling their produce. And a lot of the produce is actually grown on the lake. So we have floating gardens where they grow a lot of the produce um, and then they sell it at the market. Uh, Dal Lake is such a beautiful place early morning and uh, well this morning we left right about the morning prayer. So there was a lot of prayer going on. I can actually still hear some prayer going on. And um, yeah, it's just really nice to sail past all the houseboats here. I did buy like some uh, local Kashmiri bread, which I already well, I ate most of it. <laughs> Here at market. They even have a bazaar here on the water. So you can buy everything you need. Clothes, handicrafts. So 
So the story behind the houseboats is that apparently they've already been here since the 19th century. And that's because there were some Europeans that came to Kashmir and they really loved it here. But they were not allowed to buy any land and they still aren't, I believe. So that's how they got the idea to start living on the lake. Uh, and that's how the houseboats uh, came about. But what I really like is that they are so beautiful. Like all the wood carvings, I mean, it's just amazing. And even like all the, the pillars here, everything is just carved beautifully. I am still wearing my wedding scarf, by the way, <laughs> that I got in the Zanskar wedding. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.